Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome to Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Of course, I was over a year ago now, I played through Super Mario 64 on the Super Mario 3D All-Star Collection. We played through the game 100% and had so much fun, but now we're finally back, ready for some summer fun with Mario Sunshine. I love this game, but honestly, I've never beaten it. I've never gotten super far, and I know it is a very, very difficult game. So I will be certainly trying my best to 100% complete everything and having a great time along with you guys throughout the summer playing this GameCube classic. But with that being said, let's get started with Super Mario Sunshine. of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. All this and more oh. await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. What is that? We can't be the only one seeing that, right? Mario's a little too enamored with food. I don't like the feeling of that. What was with Mario in the background when Mario's on the plane? I guess we'll have to find out. Here we come. So I guess we're making a quick landing here. The island looks like a dolphin, which was pretty cool. It was that Mario's face? <gasps> oh my, got some turbulence. What is that lava? What in the world is happening? What happened? Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. There it is again. Spooky. Uh, excuse me, but... Huh? It's gone. Could we be seeing things? There's no I way. I'm most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario. If you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> okay, I guess it's up to Mario to help then. Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll do what I can. Okay, so you don't have anything else to say. But can we talk to the other characters? Here we are in the game, and this game is so pretty. It's just, it's so bright and vibrant as well. It's something definitely to get used to. Everything's sort of wiggling in the background because of how hot it is. Master Mario, remember, the B button is key. Use it to show me some of those famous jumps. Will do. Can I talk to the other toads too? Don't worry, Mario. We'll watch over the princess. Please go and get help. Will do. Can I really talk to every toad? I didn't even realize. That goop looks dangerous. I wouldn't touch it, Mario. If you get some on you, get, get in the water or do a spin jump. Quickly move the left stick in a circle and jump. Okay, so we'll definitely try to avoid the goop as much as I can. Ugh, Mario, it's all goopy. <laughs> We came all this way, and now look, everything's spoiled. Oh, this is the worst. Mario, please go get some help. Maybe one of the toads can help me, what about you? It looks like this gunk is coming from somewhere below. It's really slippery, so watch your step. 
I will. I'll try to sneak on along the side. Hello. Oh, cool. What are you waiting for? Do something. This gooey paint of yours completely covered my friend. It's not my paint, even though it is our face, so that's maybe not making us look so good. Uh, hello. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the airstrip, you, you. I don't know why everyone's so upset with us, but. Oh, hello. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Whoa. Preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Whoa! Look at this! Proceeding with user instruction. Use the button to shoot water from my game. If you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Okay, well, I think I get it. I do not need to hear that explanation again. So we have a whole new tool to Mario's arsenal. Try washing off that M to test your skills. Press R or ZR to shoot water. So this is a huge element to this game. It's not gonna be a simple Mario platformer this time around. We have Flood along with us to help us clear away some of this goop. So as you can see, we can do that and get some coins pretty easily as well. Um, there's still a lot I have to figure out about the controls. I haven't played this game in well over probably 10 years. Um, so it might be a little bit difficult for me to figure out what in the world is going on sometimes. I can't even get this one though. It's not like, okay, there you go. Making too much progress, but this is a huge element of the game for sure. So, hello. Oh yeah, okay, so you're not gonna say anything new. But I do wanna talk to the other Piantas if I can. Wait a minute, we're wanted? Why are we, what do we need, what do we do? <laughs> huh, have we met somewhere before? I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Recently, too. Uh-oh, don't look to your left, please. Thank you. Oh, this one's playing some music. Welcome to Isle of Fina. Step right up and get yourself a free tourist map. Press the L button to view your map. The L button. Gotcha, so this is the map of Isle del Fina, which is a little under detailed for now, but I think as we explore more, uh, we'll see more stuff. There are some descriptions here that I can't quite read. Um, welcome to Aldafina, this glittering level or jewel of the southern seas. The sun is always shining here, so come and visit. All right, very cool. But I wanted to talk to some other people because I don't think you get to explore this area too much after. So if there are some piances we can talk to, I definitely want to make the most of that. Hello. Hey there, buddy. Are you waiting for your pals or what? I guess so. Um, so let's go for it. You got all this goop over here that now with Flood, we should be able to clear out. Let's find out. So we got all this over here. Oh, I messed a little bit of it. The controls are a little tricky. Got it. So can I get you out of the goop over here? Somebody's just totally sunken in there. Gotcha. Oh, let's get you cleaned off, huh? There we go, much better. <laughs> you seem happy about it, I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, oh geez. There we go. Whoa, I really thought I was a goner. Hey, hang on, it's you. This whole mess is your fault. I don't like the sound of that. What are you waiting for? Do something, I already did. <laughs> okay, uh, well, let's try this out. The big goop in the center. What will this do? Oh no! It's a goop plant. So what do I do with this thing? I think I have to, uh, yeah, hit them in the mouth a little bit. I think that there is a way to zoom in somehow. Oh no, not pulling up the map. <laughs> I don't need that. Aha, here we go, by clicking in the right analog stick. There we go, we got gotcha. you. Okay, and they're gone. 
I think we saved the day. Hopefully not everybody's going to be mad at us anymore. We got rid of our group. Sorry about that, guys, but I promise it wasn't me. And look at this, we get a shine for our trouble. So instead of there being power stars, we have shines. So as you can see, it's pretty comparable to Mario 64, but does have some differences. There we go, our very first shine. And we'll save and continue. Looking good. Uh oh. This isn't good. They don't look happy. Oh no, Mario! He's in jail! Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, Someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Oh Heart no. Adjourned. Poor Mario. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Oh no. Okay, I do not need to hear all that again. But what a predicament Don't indeed. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. So we have a job to do. If it was our mess or not, they have held us accountable for cleaning up Isle Delfino. And look at this, oh my goodness, you really can't miss that mess, can you? So yeah, there's been some kind of evil Mario type of character running around causing a big trouble for everybody. And now it's our job to fix it. Oh, hey, here's Peach and Toadsworth. Hey guys. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. Uh-oh. We gotta go and deal with that. Another big goop pile, will there be another goop piranha plant? I guess so. And why is the sky so dark, huh? It's not sun drenched. This is hardly my idea of relaxing vacation, Mario. Me too. I wanna go home right now. But we're not allowed to leave because of our debt to Isle Delfino, I suppose. Oh, there's even a lore. It seems several people have gone missing near the Grand Pianta statue in Bianco Square. Okay, so I'll have to go and figure that out. Let's talk to Toadsworth. Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe, I must tell you. They were walking around town earlier and it seems the area near the Shine Gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. So the more we save 
uh, Isle Delfino and get more Shine Sprites, the more we should be able to battle this pollution and make the town bright again. Oh gosh, look at these little guys, these are new. Huh, okay, definitely trying to get rid of them. But I did want to talk to the, the villagers we're saving here. Woo, you saved me, thanks, a bundle. You're welcome. This is so amazing, isn't it? Where, where are the TV cameras? Oh wait, is it over already? Did I miss something, huh? I'm not sure. Okay, so I think one move we can do, yeah, we can do a little spin move like that, and that's pretty effective, but I think our goal right now is just to clear this out. There we go. Okay, here we go again with more of this guy. I might have to be careful, because these little jellyfish guys are definitely gonna be trying to jump on me. But I think the whole idea is when it opens its mouth, we spray some water in there. We do have to, oh gosh, manage our total water as well. We can see that on the bottom right. So there's a lot of elements in this game that are totally new to Mario. This was such an interesting experience back when it came out in, I think, 2001? It's been a long time, this game's over 20 years old now. But there we go, we did it! Whoa, what is happening? Whoa! That was under all the goop? No way! It's the Shadow Mario! What do we do now? It's come to get us! Delfino Plaza. Wait, no, he's going for the princess. We gotta stop him. Oh, this is not good. Let's catch up right away. Okay, so I don't know. I think there's a way to a uh, kidnapping. Stop the criminal in his tracks with some water. Can I talk to Toadsworth? Not at the moment. I think there's a way to do like a little speed up. There we go. And then we can spray him as we're running. There we go, there we go. We put we put a stop to him. And there's alert too. Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom been captured. Oh, where did you go? He turned around on me? Oh, that's a tricky jump. Come on, we can catch up with you though. Oh no, wait, you're back down there. The suspect to kidnap her was last seen escaping through Eastern Fruit Market. Yeah, that's where we are right now. There we go, we got you. Ow, 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 not fair, completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Who are you to say what's fair or not? <laughs> well, you're still running. He's heading for the square. Go get him. I'm trying. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Oh, he has like a paintbrush? That was odd. He escaped into the graffiti. Mario, try spraying it with water. What is, oh, this is the entrance to our first level. Awesome, so instead of paintings in Mario's, or I guess Peach's castle, we have these different graffiti spots where we can jump into proper levels in the game, starting with Bianco Hills, episode one, Road to the Big Windmill. So let's go ahead and get started with this then. So you would think that now that town, townspeople have seen Mario chasing another Mario, they would think something is up here, but I, I guess not. <laughs> but Road to the Big Windmill, look at this place. Now this place, not really is affected by the pollution. It's so pretty, so bright, so green. Rico Harbor and Pina Park. See, everything is sort of connected. I can't go to the other levels, but you can always see them, which is pretty cool. You can see some of the places. That was uh, the place we just were. So, pretty cool little details like that in this game. Hello. I, I figured I'll talk to some people while we're exploring through. Huh? You're back again, are you? You seemed like you were in such a hurry last time I saw you. That wasn't me, I promise. Oh gosh, they're never gonna gonna believe us, are they? Can I talk to everybody? There might be some people that just aren't interested. What's going on? Didn't you just come running through here with a big paintbrush? And now you've got that heavy device on your back. Strange. Maybe they are starting to clue in. Hello. Oh no, sorry. Okay, now they're really not gonna like me if I'm jumping on their head. I don't think you're interested in talking. Never mind. Hey, I think you're in need of a pair of, of my special sunshades. Oh well. Then again, maybe you're not ready. You need to spend a bit more time here on Isle Delfino. Come back when you think you're ready for a pair. See ya. Gotcha. Okay, so we're not gonna worry about any of that. Instead, we're just gonna try to explore as much as we can and get our way to our first shine. I'm tempted to say star, but they're not quite stars, are they? There's a trail here that connects with the, to the big windmill. That cube made it too dangerous, so the door's been closed. You might be able to get through at the water wheel up ahead. So let's try to hop around and get over there then. And I hope nobody minds that I like talking to the characters a bunch, but look, I, I've never really taken the time to do that, so hearing what the, 
the Fina Plaza villagers have to say is quite interesting. Okay, so we're supposed to be going up that way to the windmill. So I think getting across like this might be our best bet. And oh my gosh, there is goop everywhere. So scratch what I said before about there not being as much pollution. There certainly is pollution. Oh no. But to get there, it looks like we're gonna have to get through more of this. So whenever it's a big wiggly pile like this, I think it's pretty safe to assume it's gonna be another one of those battles. This is our third one already now. Stuff is simply everywhere. But this game is so neat because graphically it's such a huge step up from Mario 64 and it's such a pretty area. And some environments we just really haven't seen Mario explore too much of. These really cool beach resort kind of areas. Oh my, here we go again. Okay, well, we've done it twice already. I can't imagine the third time will be all that much more difficult, right? Let's find out. It looks like chocolate though. It looks really tasty. It's a big pile of chocolate and vanilla ice cream. All right, well, there we go. We got the goop. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be paint. Is this is all graffiti. Whoa! So that's gonna lead us into a ramp so that we can get up this bridge. And that'll be our first shine. Super duper easy. Whoa! Guess who I saw at the very top of there? You can see at the very top of the windmill is Petey Piranha waiting for us, which isn't quite what we're doing at the moment. For right now, let's go ahead and get our first shine of Bianco Hills. Okay, so that was pretty cool. We're going to save and continue and try for the second shine. So most of today's episode will be focused here on Bianco Hills getting everything fully completed. And we'll try to do one area per episode as much as I can. I think later on there might be some backtracking required, but so far we're doing pretty good. So let's hop right back in. So what will we be doing for episode two? Because each one is not just a star, it's an episode. Bianco Hills episode two, down with Petey Piranha. Let's go for it. So we saw PB Piranha at the very top of the windmill before. It looks like he's still up there too, waving at us. <laughs> hey there. So it's gonna be a lot more challenging actually getting up there this time, but I will give it my best shot. See, so yeah, I think if we, there's a way to, I, I don't exactly remember, but we can dive and then use flood and it should allow us to sort of get a little speed boost. Can't quite remember how to do it. But as you can see, all the pollution we cleared before sort of gets reset. So it's not something I'm going to worry about too much for right now. If we can just get through the level in a timely matter, I think that's a little bit more important. But there's a lot to do in this game. Of course, we have to get every shrine, or shine. Danger, the bridge is out. Use my hover nozzle to cross large gaps. There we go, thank you, Flood. But there are also blue coins you might see here and there. We're not quite worried about those at the moment. We're gonna go and collect those at another point in time, later down the line in the game. Cause like I said, I do plan on getting the sun 100%, but this is, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people would agree, one of the most difficult Mario games ever. So it's gonna be a tough summer getting through this game, but I think it'll be a lot of fun too. I'm so glad that I was able to end up playing this game during the, one of these summers. You know, it took me a couple of years. Oh, we can get our water refill here. That's nice. Oh my, oh gosh, we filled them up. And that gives us some extra coins and stuff. There will be a hundred coin shines, but that's not something I'm worried about at the moment. For right now, okay, so I gotta use the hover nozzle to get across this one. And you can really see how the nozzle is going to change our experience with platforming and how we get around op obstacles. Could you help out with the, with the big headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it? I'll try my best. Let's get, we're going up here for now. Big windmill. We are really high up. I hope you don't have a fear of heights because look at how far down everything is. Oh my goodness. So I can hear the shimmer of the next shine, but I guess we have to get through PD Piranha first. We only have three lives too, so I'll try to be careful. But there he is. Do I just bounce off his head? Let's see. Can I get him? Uh-oh. He does not seem friendly. Uh-oh. I think we passed the weight limit. Uh-oh. Uh ah! <laughs> okay, that's gotta hurt. But here we go. I guess we're just battling Petey Piranha down here. Oh man, those little goop guys are spawning in everywhere, so I'm trying to get rid of the, the pollution now. I'll create more of it. Oh, gross. Be careful. 
of that sludge, spray it. Try my best. I don't, you know, have unlimited water around here, so I'm trying to be careful of that too. There we go. So I think PD Prana works pretty similarly to, um, there we go. Just like the other things we faced off with, when he opens his mouth, that's his opening point. That's when we can go for him. You can see that filled up his tummy a little bit, so if I go again, oh no, wait, wait, gotcha. Oh, now he's got a full tummy. So we go up there and then I guess just slam on it. There we go, awesome. So that's one hit down, but I don't think he's done quite yet. Oh no, there's a little goop monster behind me. I'm waiting for him to open his mouth. Oh, he's gonna try to turn around, huh? Okay, so I guess I don't have to zoom in here. I can just use the other shoulder button to aim it up a little bit. Gotcha. Okay, come on, one more. We can do it. I wonder what happens if you run out of water in this situation. Luckily, we have more than half a tank left, so I think we'll be okay. Come on, Petey. What's your plan now, huh? Okay, ready? Gotcha. Oh, man. Watch out, this thing's going for me. Run away. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, one more time. Hit him in the belly button. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, wow. Whoa. He got gooped. Well, there we go, we defeated Petey. Do we get a shine for that? Yes, we do. Awesome. So there we go, our first, I guess, boss fight. We've sort of had different fights with enemies, but that was our first proper boss fight, I think. Pretty cool. So we'll save and continue with that. We have now three shrines, or shines. I, I don't know why I wanna call them shrines. They're clearly shine, like sunshine. We're back at Delfino Plaza, and it looks like now with that done, there's goop everywhere on this dock over there, but we're not quite gonna worry about that just yet. That's something we'll save for next episode. For right now, my goal is to complete more of Bianca Hills. So let's head back in and get some more shines. So that was episode two. We now have episode three to worry about, which is the Hillside Cave Secret. So yeah, if you didn't want to, you don't have to get every shine in every area. You could get a couple here, then move on to the next area, get a couple there, and sort of bounce around a little bit, but if I can, I like to get as many as I can in one area uh, each time. Oh, these enemies are new. Oh, and they're gone. Can I water you? Ow, rude. Huh. Oh, they're, they're spitting at me. I don't like them. I don't know if this is really doing anything. Oh, I can sort of make them dizzy, then land on them, and get a coin. Cool. If there are quite a few shines to get in this area, I think there's going to be 11 or 12 of them, so these episodes will be quite long as we're going through and trying to get everything completed. Oh, you're covered in goop. I'll help you out. There you go. Much better, much better. Ooh, you saved me, thanks a bundle. You're welcome. So what is going on this way? Because we were supposed to go into that side cave over there to get there. Oh, we even have pokies around here. Interesting. I think we want to do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See ya. Could triple jump up this way. I don't know if this is the only way over, but it's the way I normally would do it. But that's sort of the cool thing about Flood is that we have so many different options. Okay, so. I just need to focus on making this jump. I hope I can do it. Uh-oh. Because you can only float so far. Oh no! Ah! Oh, so that's a little tricky. But I guess while I'm here, we'll refill on water real quick and we'll give it another go. And I haven't talked to this person. Yeah, the goop is really cleared out of the, this area now. I heard awful noises in the hillside cave on the far shore. What were they? I'm scared. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to investigate, so I'll let you know if you find anything interesting, I suppose. There we go. So I think what I have to do here, and it's quite tricky. Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted. I was gonna try for a triple jump. And then yeah, once we get a little bit farther, I think that'll be enough, and then I can dive after. Perfect. So getting used to those controls can be quite tricky, but I think we made it the hillside cave. Whoa. Hey! Shadow Mario took flood. What do we do now? So this is interesting. As you can see, there are a couple of these spots in the game where we don't have flood at all. These are a lot more reminiscent of Mario 64, where it's just purely platforming through. 
and we just gotta do our best. These, if I remember correctly, are ruthlessly difficult. So I'll try to be careful and get our way through as much as I can. But I'm gonna hammer down these nails, with the butt stomp. There you go, get a one up for it. Which I'll try to get as many lives as I can because while we haven't died yet, I'm sure it's only a matter of time with how difficult this game can be. Look at all this, oh my. Uh, Okay, we're fine. Got it. We got a couple more nails. So there's a couple places to go. I love all the abstract shapes and stuff. But I'd like to get rid of these just in case, if I can. If there's any more one-ups, I certainly wanna make the most of them. Got it. And good. Okay, I'll wait right here just for a few moments. Oh gosh. Yeah, because everything is such a flat color too, it's a little bit difficult to tell. Oh my, the placement of everything. Oh, I don't like it. Could I get this one up though? Oh, it's actually quite up there. Okay, it might not be worth worrying about too much. I might just wanna go for this, because we don't have access, but we did get to the end. Here we go, ready? Boom, got the shine. But even in these floodless areas, we don't have access to Mario's older moves. His backflip or his long jump still aren't here, which is sort of weird. But there we go, we can see if we continue with that. We got our fourth shine. That was scary, but we got it done. So still, the game's gonna show us this every time because it, it's what, what it wants us to get done, but we're gonna save that for later. Instead, we're gonna hop back in. All right, let's get going. So we got our third shine done. Now we're moving on to episode four, which will be Red Coins of Windmill Village. So this one's gonna require a whole lot more exploring as we explore all of Windmill Village trying to find those red coins. We can spot a couple of them right now, and I'll try to be pretty productive with getting them all. Might take us some work, of course, either way. Yeah, I swear that there was a way, I guess it's just by you, you spray first, and then you do it. There's a whole bunch of ways to move around in this game now. Oh, what's with this blue crate? That's actually a pretty interesting thing to mention. You might be able to notice that these crates sort of look like Professor Egad, and at the opening cutscene, Flood mentioned that they were made by Professor Egad. This is one of my nozzles. Uh, the Gad Science Incorporated made it. Okay, so it's just another one of these, but it does give us a nice water refill. But there is our first red coin right there, and here's our second one. So we're getting them pretty easily so far. I'll go and grab this one. And there's another one waiting for us on this side. Oh, and there's also another one in here. So we're, we're finding them pretty quick, actually. But yeah, you might remember Professor Egad from Luigi's Mansion, the same person who made Luigi's Poltergeist, or Poltergust, made the flood. So pretty cool how they have that consistency. Ow! Rude. Little wind monster trying to get me. I don't know what that is. Is it a ghost? Talking about Luigi's Mansion and ghost pops up. That's spooky. Oh gosh, here comes another one. Um. I think I'll just try to leave it. If it'll leave me, I don't like that. Oh no. Uh, maybe I can hit this windmill? Oh, I can. Oh, and that's gonna move the platform. So if I hit it this way, I should be able to line that up. It's still, it takes a moment, it takes a moment. And I got it, so we're looking for one more red coin and I'm pretty sure I saw it right over here. There's a blue coin, which like I said, we'll get there some other point in time, but just as we got knocked off. Uh-oh. Poor Mario. This guy is ruthless. He is still out to get me. There's the shine. So our first red coin mission of this game completed. Just like Mario 64, there's gonna be quite a few of those to find. But look at this. That might be one of our quickest shines so far. I thought that one was gonna take a bit more time. But so far, so good. Having a lot of fun with this. Of course, the game is gonna get more difficult as we move forward, but right now I'm having a relaxing vacation time, and that's great. But that's why I really wanted to play this game during the summer. It just, it fits the vibe so well, and I'm just glad that I was able to make that line up. Even if we had to wait extra long to play this game, I was busy with other projects, but we're finally here now, right? And that's all that matters. Okay, so let's hop back in. More Bianco feels fun to be had with shine number five. So what is this one? Petey Piranha strikes back. So Petey Piranha's back, do we just have to go through the windmill again? Not quite, we're back at Windmill Village and he's just snoozing. Is he really striking back if he's just taking a nap? Maybe he just lives here. 
I guess he did create a big bunch of pollution there though, so that's enough of a reason for us to go and stop him, seeing how that's our whole job right now. So we'll try to get over there as fast as we can. I am getting a little bit more used to the controls, which is really helping me out with getting through this a more hasty time. So could I just get up like this, I wonder? Whoa, I can, okay. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to do it, but I'm up here. So I guess that's all that matters. Let's get rid of some of these enemies though, because it seems like there's quite a lot of them. Oh, and there's a uh, Fianta here. I'll save ya. Ow, I think. Whoa, are these pigs? Oh, we have little pigs. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of the pollution jellyfish. Clean you off. And talk to ya. Woo, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. Okay, they don't really don't say too much interesting. Oh, do I have to? What is with these little piggies? Oh my. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, that wasn't very kind. These little piggies love to get onto our flood. I guess they're thirsty. It's a little difficult to line up, to say the least. Oh geez. Okay, one more time. Maybe a little bit more like this. It's hard because it's the slightest movement. It covers quite a distance. Right there. No, that was still too far over. This one. Gotcha! Oh no, he's not happy. Uh, here he comes! He really can take flight, huh? Do I just shoot him down with more of these piggies? Maybe? Uh, Pump seems to have no effect while it is moving. Okay, so I guess not yet. Then let's just keep chasing after him. I do need a refill on my water soon. We might be able to find that in town here. Oh gosh. Come on. Oh, there's more of these guys too. Some coins could be helpful. Hey! So he is still up there causing problems. So much pollution everywhere though. Oh gosh. Okay, I have another one of these piggies. Is he, am I supposed to shoot him? Oh, there we go, there we go! Okay, Uh, now what? Do I just slam on him? I don't think so. Oh, here we go again. We know all about this one. Fill him up. And then, well, before I get hit by the pollution jellyfish, there's one hit on him. This is interesting. This is a whole lot different than we're used to. I think I need to go, there should be a river over here. Yep, and I just need a very quick refill if he doesn't mind. Hopefully the fight continues. Okay, he's way over there now, so we need to go and get one of those piggies again. I think they were over here. This is such a weird fight though, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna grab it. Oh no. And where did he go? He's way over there, this might be hard to land. But we got him, that was good. Okay, let's do another one of these little fancy spin moves. Whoa, 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 tornado? He's a master of the elements. Tornadoes and pollution. I guess those are the only two elements now. Uh, I mean, he could fly as well, so I guess you could just say he's just very good at that kind of thing. Um, am I supposed to be doing something here? Because I'm dodging the tornadoes, but it doesn't seem to be it. Maybe I could get another little piggy. Where are they? Here you are. Oh, okay, that sort of worked, but wasn't what I was planning on. Okay, here we go, here we go. No, wait, ah, oh, I messed it up. The controls are inverted when you do that. So it's a little tricky. Come on, one more time. Oh, the tornadoes again. You're kidding me. I'm doing a pretty good job of dodging them out. Here we go, come on. Or maybe the controls aren't inverted. I thought they were. Now they're not. No clue. Here's our second shot on him. Wait, did that not work? Wait, that was so odd. Okay, we're getting through it again. Oh, there's another Yanta I can see over here. I got gotcha. you. What will you say? <laughs> what will you say if you thanks someone? Okay, they really don't say, whoa! Hey, why'd he throw me? Well, I didn't deserve that. I don't know. Okay, I need another one of the pigs and he got <laughs> stuck in there again. Oh, the pigs are gone. Did I use them all up? 
There's gotta be more around here. I don't see any. Uh-oh. Okay, I might actually need that guy to throw me up. Which is easier said than done right now. Maybe this isn't what I do. I gotta get him down somehow. Like, use up all the piggies there. And luckily, he's not really going anywhere, so I think I'll be okay. Let's try from over here. He's a big mess of everything, hasn't he? Huh. Okay, so I just want to do a bit of that, and I guess I'll just try to get the pigs that were up this way. If we could just knock him down again. That should be all I need, right? Hey, if it worked once, it should work twice, right? And there they all are. Only problem is we are running out of water a little bit, but I think this should be enough. So I got one of them. I guess the big struggle is I need to land it, and he's way over there. Uh-oh. Okay, so I don't know if I'm doing this right at all. Oh, this is gonna be a tough hit. Oh, I got him, but it didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Um, am I just all wrong here? What is what is the idea? I mean, I would think it's you know third time's a charm, right? I don't know. This is real tricky. Let's go ahead and get a refill, and we're back to it. Oh, there are some pigs back here. Maybe they just I couldn't see them. Either way. Enough. I will happily grab one. So where'd he go? <laughs> oh gosh, what a battle this has been! All right, let's try for it. Oh, I got him. Okay. We're gonna do a bit of that. He's gonna throw those tornadoes back at us, but I think we'll be okay. Oh no! Wait a minute! I spoke too soon. Oh, there we go! There we go! Come on! Get him! Oh my gosh. This should be the last one. Boom, we got him. So once again, PB Piranha's been defeated. It's gonna turn into goop again. Does that mean it's not the real PB Piranha or is that just something he does often? I'm not quite sure. But there we go. For the second time, we defeat PB. Will there be a third? I hope not. I, I wanna see some other boss fights. But there we go. Really challenging, for sure. Okay, so with that done, we have six shines, shining bright. I think for right now, as per usual, we're just gonna hop straight back in. There we go. We're making some great progress so far. It might not seem like it. It seems like there's a lot to do in this game, for sure, but we, we are definitely rolling through it pretty quick. Episode six, The Secret of the Dirty Lake. Huh. Oh wow, that is a dirty lake. Oh, and I guess we might have to go into another secret area just like we did with the caves. Gotcha. So let's go for that. If I can. Oh, I'm, I'm doing the wrong one. There you go. We'll just have to sort of speed over as soon as we can, but getting through that lake is gonna be a whole lot more difficult if we can't swim through it, which is what I'm assuming is going to be the issue with how polluted it is, that has to be the case. It looks like there might be some glee pads that we can go through. Oh, you're new, you weren't here before, were you? Mm -hmm. Nothing this dirty could ever get back to normal. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm sure there's a way we gotta be able to help. It does look pretty bad, though. I'll go to the other side of the windmill. Let's see if we can't get over from there. That might just be my best bet. Even that looks like it could be a tough jump, but if we one, two, wait, wait, whoa, that didn't work. One, two, three, triple jump, and then super late into the jump, start using the flood. I think I can just barely land on it. Oh, we did it. The fall distance sort of hurt, but it's fine. We'll get onto here, get a water refill. Oh, the turbo nozzle. Press and hold ZR to zoom. All right, well, I think that we'll save that for some other time because I don't need that right now. Instead, Shadow Mario is taking Flood again, and we are left all by ourselves to get this shine. Oh no. 
This one's looking tough, isn't it? Without Flood, this looks so scary. So we have these blue and red platforms that sort of alternate between spinning. So we just have to wait it out between both of them. The red ones will spin, then we'll jump over. Blue ones again. We got it, we got it. And on top of this, we get an easy one-up. Okay, so what do I do here? Do I wall jump? Yeah, because so once again, we don't have... Whoa, 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 this is moving. Okay, uh, uh, I don't like this. We don't have long jump. We don't have backflip jump or anything like that. I do have the dive, but even that I gotta be careful. Oh, here we go again. We're going up this time too. Oh, the Rubik's Cube of Doom. It's not exactly a Rubik's Cube, but it still looks like one. Oh, there's a one up for us. Okay, whoa, don't fall off for it. That wouldn't really be worth the trade, would it? I wonder if I can jump on those clouds. Or are they just for, for show? Oh, I think we made it. No way! Oh, there's more. I thought that was it. <laughs> oh gosh, I got all excited and everything. I don't trust this at all. Oh no. I can already feel... No! Whoa! Okay! Ah, oh, not what I wanted. So I dived on it, but I guess when you get up from a dive, you sort of do a little more of a flip. Not what we wanted. <laughs> okay, let's try that one again. I gotta start all the way from the beginning again. Okay, it took a good couple of tries to get back to this. I'm gonna try really hard not to immediately fall to my doom again. Cause those are gonna flip, and this will flip one more time. And now I can get onto this. And it's just really trying to pay attention to what flips when. Cause there's gonna be times, like right now, where it doesn't feel like I'm making much progress. I gotta do a lot of back and forth, but I think over time, optional where to go is going to become more clear. And there we go. So. This is the last scary one! Oh no! I thought I could make that jump, I really could. Oh, I was so close, that was the end too. Oh man. Oh my gosh, wow that was close. I really probably didn't need to make that leap of faith, but there we go. Wow, was that challenging. So as you can see, the difficulty can jump up quite we'll a lot in this game, and I just did there. So we are now at eight shines in total. I think. Or no, just seven. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so it counts up there, but. Yep, we already know about Delfino Plaza over there. Not gonna worry about that too much. Instead, we are hopping in yet again, this time for I think the seventh episode of Bianco Hills. Let's find out. Bianco Hills, episode seven Shadow Mario on the loose. So Shadow Mario's back. Uh oh. Well, that's not so good. There he is. And I guess we just gotta chase him. I'll try to, ow, oh yeah, you can't run into him like that, I guess. That was not a good start. You get back here, buddy. I need to get close to him that I can actually hit him with the water. See, what's so weird though is that he can swim. He can swim, but I hit him with the water and that's what hurts him. I guess maybe it's the pressure of the water. Cause he sort of looks like he's made out of water too. Okay, we'll just try to get up there. Keep chasing him. But then he just hops right back down. He's such a trickster. Oh, the camera's not joining me in my adventure here. Come on. Oh, that is not good. Uh. Come on. Gotta keep him at a little bit of a distance. Oh, but we got him. Is that it? There you go. Ah, I'll remember this. Okay, so from a really difficult shrine to a really easy one. I'll take it. If I can get it, there we go. <laughs> All right, so another shine gotten for us. Pretty cool. Uh, save and continue. And let's see. Of course, it's gonna be this again, but we've seen that so many times. But I think we're moving on to episode eight now. Which if I remember correctly, there are eight normal episodes, and then there are two or three secret shines in each one, and then there's the 100 coin, 100 coin shine. So episode eight, the red coins of the lake. Let's try it out. So, the red coins of the lake. We already have red coins in the windmill village, but you can see them way up there. This might not be so easy. Well, let's go for it. Oh my. So we just gotta get over there first. Keep it in this mixed up. There you go. 
So I don't think there'll be any of the red coins over here, so we don't need to worry about finding them too much. We can see way over there. We have a couple of red coins up really high up. But we also have a couple just chilling out over here. So let's definitely take a look. Try my best to find them all. Oh no, well that wasn't a good start. How can I get back up there? Can I climb the tree? Oh, no problem, no problem. Sort of. Um, come on, Mario. Good job, good job. So let's start here. Got it. And somewhere there's floating above the water, so let's see how many we could spot. We already have one, so there's two and three. Let's see, four, five, and six. Not all of them, of course, but it's a start, so we'll start getting those. I think I can get over to this tightrope. Sort of hard to tell how close I am to it. I'm just floating in the air like that, but I got it. Ow. Oh, come on. I was so far up in the sky. I can't believe it got me there. I wonder if I could... Ooh, there we go. Guess that's another way to get up this thing. I don't know, and how to know. So I'm just trying to take another good look at what's around here, because I think there was one right above us, right? That might have been? So I think, oh no, don't fall, don't fall. It will try to get up here, and then from this way, there was no red coin up here, okay. Just had to make sure. Because there's so many different ways to go, I just want to make sure I make the most of everything. I think for right now, are there some underwater? No, that's a reflection. Okay, <laughs> that's just me being silly. Well, let's land on you, because you don't look very friendly. I don't think I can. Oh, there we go, whoa, whoa, okay. They said it's flying. That's cool and everything, but can I grab that coin, maybe? Uh, oh, the super speed slam. That was something else, wasn't it? Now I gotta do the same thing, but land. Oh, I got it, I got it. That was actually pretty cool. So you get another red coin out of the way there. I still have a lot to figure out this. What I think I'll do, if I can land on you if you don't mind. Oh geez, how did that not work? Also, the water's not polluted anymore. I'm just now realizing, which is nice, right? Can I get you, please? It's weird, because I press jump out of the water, but it doesn't always work. Whoa, whoa, okay, watch out for those. So there's a red coin waiting for us down here. And a little bit more. Got it. And then I think I'll just be able to bounce straight up onto this tightrope. And if I can place my jump well enough, there we go. We're up to six out of eight. I'm trying to dodge that guy as much as I possibly can. And maybe get rid of this pokey too. Ow, no, hey, <laughs> that's not fair. I slammed on him. Yikes. Okay, luckily, these guys have been real helpful. Could use that to fly way back up. I didn't even know they did all that, so that's pretty cool to learn. Uh, now my question is, can I actually get up there? from here? I don't think so, but we'll try. We'll, we'll get a running start from this side. Oh no, not what I wanted. Yeah, I don't think we could reach out from here. We might have to climb up the windmill a little bit more. We're looking for two more red coins, and that's where I'm a little confused. There's one of them. Oh, that sun is bright. And there's the other. Okay, so we were on the right path by being up there. But actually getting to it, is a whole nother deal. I guess I could have done it the way I did it before, but if this works, I'm certainly not complaining. We get a free water refill. And what is this nozzle then? Is this one we already have? If I could land on it, there we go. Yeah, it's just the, the nozzle we already have. Can I get over? Probably not the jump I wanted to do. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so we'll use the little spider guys that were down here. Yep, there you are. Oh gosh, they're so tricky. You get back here. They will not let up. Come on. I can't see anything. Whoa, okay. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Ah, oh, darn. It is so difficult to see when you're up in the air like that. Oh no, come on. Wait, wait, jump Mario. You got it. Maybe I could just, there we go. Oh my goodness. So where is the next red coin? There's one. Whoa, hold on, no. I'm so afraid of that little ghost guy popping back up as if this 
whole thing wasn't difficult enough, right? I got it, I got it. Wow. Come on, you got it, good job, Mario. One more over that way. This is the most stressful thing ever. It's coming to get me again. And I'm hoping I could just, oh, I dodged it. That was smooth. We gotta go now, because it's gonna come right back for me. There it is, we did it! Wow! And behind the little windmill is the, the shine. Ow, okay, that was a little painful, but it's fine. We have plenty of health. I just gotta get back over there. This type rope is still bouncing. Oh no, uh, okay, that hurt a little bit, but it's okay, it's okay. We can just get right back around it. And get up there, no problem. Was there a, there's a Pianza guy up there. I don't think he was there before the little cave entrance. And what about this? Was this here before? I can't remember. Doesn't really do much, so. Just trying to see if we can find extra one-ups and stuff, because you don't get too many lives in this game, is one thing I noticed. Okay, so we're almost there, but I'm not gonna be impatient with it. Even though this area is a little bit easier to traverse now that Petey Piranha's little vines aren't everywhere. So I think I can just very simply wall jump and then use the flood to back right up into it. So there we go, our eighth shine of Bianco Hills and our ninth in total. We're not quite done with this area though, believe it or not. There are still more to do. There are secret shines to find in each world and there are also 100 coin shines to find. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Instead, we're gonna hop straight back in and see if we can't find this next one. So I don't exactly know how this works. I think I need to choose a previous episode. So you can see, it looks like we've gotten everything, right? But instead, what we'll do is go to a previous one, which should be, I think, um, the Hillside Cave Secret. We need to go and do this one again. And we'll see that something's a little bit different about it. Okay, so we're back at the cave. So you might be asking, what's so different about this? Well, you're about to see. Once we re-enter one of these levels after we've completed it the first time, there's a big red button. And if we hit this, we still have flood. Collect eight word coins before the timer runs out. Good luck. So this, oh gosh, it's not gonna be easy if I fall all over the place. But luckily with flood, it should make it a tad bit easier to get through. And it's just sort of this giant rush to get everything. But I gotta be careful, just because we have flood does not mean it's gonna be a walk in the park, or a swim in the park, or anything of that nature. I have 35 seconds to get the rest of them. I feel like that's way more difficult than even the challenge itself is getting it within the time frame. Especially on this first run through, I'm trying to figure out where they are while speeding through. Come on. Got it, that's the seventh one. I see the eighth one in the distance. Oh no, I'm a little scared here. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You're kidding. Uh-oh. So I lost a life there. Sort of seems like you can still lose lives in this area, but it really is brutally difficult. Okay, so we're trying again. I don't think there's too many ways to refill water or anything either, so there really is a whole lot you have to be careful of. Okay, so I'll grab that one, then back over here. Got it. Okay. Whoa. The fifth one. And I think we're doing better on time this time. This is what I messed up before. You get a good jump going, and then use the flood. If I could, I would like to get on top of that. There we go, there. Okay, ready, ready, ready. With 13 seconds left to spare, I got it. Awesome. I don't know if we still, if the timer is still gonna keep going or what. I hope not. Ooh, it doesn't. Okay, so we had 11 seconds left after that whole mess. And I landed on that. Pretty cool. Now the worst part would be falling to our doom <laughs> after doing all that. Luckily not the case, and we did get our one life back. So there we go. Secret shines can be pretty difficult because we have to go through these areas again and get red coins under a certain amount of time. The good thing is that we have Flood to help us out, which does make them a lot easier to get through, but that doesn't make them easy in general, just easier. <laughs> okay, so one more time, I think we have to hop in for another secret shine, and then we have our 100 coin shine to worry about. 
So as you can see, this game has a lot to it. I don't think there's as many worlds to explore as there was in Mario 64, but there's a lot more to them. So basically the same thing we did with the cave, but this time, the secret of the dirty lake. We'll be going into it again and finding that secret shrine. So here we are again, this time at the, uh, the stinky lake or whatever it was. So it's gonna be the same deal, I think. We just have to hit this big red button, which is getting covered up by the palm tree, and find out where these coins are. So, boom. Got the eight red coins. Okay, there's one of them. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I thought I had the other nozzle out. Ah, oh. <laughs> well, that was about to start. Whoops. We can try that again. Okay, so yeah, let's get the other nozzle out first. I feel embarrassed. But that's gonna flip. Should be able to grab that coin, land on this platform, and keep it moving. Luckily, we can get our life back pretty easily just by doing that. Now, is there any coins down that way? Doesn't look like it. And once again, that's always the tricky part to start with. Oh, I don't know if I'll make it. Close, close, but we got it. Is not only do we have to survive this whole thing and get all those coins. Oh my, I don't know if we get the one up. Oh, we do, we do. But we have to do it under the time limit for the first time. No, wait, oh darn. Oh, I think that's gonna be it. There's no way. Ah, uh, hey, watch it. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna get back up in time. We have to do it all about while learning the pattern of everything and find out where the red coins actually are. I think it will eventually come down, but I'm sort of just a sitting duck in the meantime. Uh, there's not really much I can do about this, is there? Oh, here it comes. I can spot out a few more. So I have four, there's five, and I think I saw six and seven. Just, you know, in the platforms above. So there might be, you know, some kind of miracle I can pull here. I'll certainly try. Also pay attention to the shadows as they're coming up, because we can really see exactly. Oh no. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that is some baloney right there. Okay, we're just gonna, it, it's definitely too late. We ran out of time. But man, I, it went right through. I just didn't have the chance. Okay, I got it this time. That's the fifth coin. We have three more left to find, and we're almost through this. Come on. So I know of one, two, three. Okay, there we go. So we know where all three of them are. We have a decent chunk of time to find them, to be honest. Okay, so, oh, this is risky. Oh no. Um, I'm going to grab it, but then where do I go? Oh, then where do I go? Ah, uh, wait, uh, wait, wait, Mario, no! Why is it not bringing me up? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> that is so tricky. There's gotta be a way to jump up from a dive without careening forward so much, right? Oh, there is, I just gotta hold backwards, okay. Well, now I know something really important, so that's good. So let me get back over there again, and hopefully this time it's not so bad. Well, okay, well, I, I might have spoken a little too soon. It still might be challenging. <laughs> okay, so here we are again. And the big stress here, I guess I could, oh, that's that's pretty good that I could do that. But the problem is, it's just so tough, oh gosh, to reach these. Look at how far out this one is. There we go, there we go. Okay, that one's gonna flip, but now our time is really starting to run out. Oh no. Um, I don't exactly know how to get this one. We're sort of bouncing in between both of them. Okay, well here's where I just gotta risk it all, I think. Got it, okay, so now my problem is I gotta get over there without falling to my doom. Which could certainly still happen, but if we play it slow, I have flood, I can just jump, there we go. Oh man, was that tough. Whew, but we did it, <laughs> how crazy. Okay, so with that done, as you can see, we can save and continue. Okay, so we could skip this. We have one more shine left to do in today's episode and in Bianco Hills. As far as I could tell, it's going to be the 100 coin shine. So just like in Super Mario 64, you can get an additional shine for getting 100 coins in the level. Now there's only so many levels where, or so many shines where that's actually possible. So we're gonna be trying to get that now. So I think the best one, as far as I know, is episode eight. And we'll just be trying to run through, get all the coins and Hopefully we'll do it without too much of an issue. It's been a long time since I remembered doing this, if I've ever done it really. 
so it might take us a lot of work to actually go through. These are super duper time consuming, but I guess, you know, worth the while, because we get another shine out of it, and we want that for 100%. So there's a lot of searching around and just trying to find different things. Now, blue coins do not go to our total coin count, so it's good to know not to really bother with those. But I think there's a lot of small ways you might not think of to get coins that I'll try to look out for. If there's anything on top of a palm tree or something. Because that's something we experienced in Mario 64, there's a lot of enemies or just little things you can do that would add coins in ways you wouldn't expect. I do see somebody up here who's covered in goop. Maybe if we help them, they'll give us a coin. I'm not really sure. Okay, I was able to help you out. I don't think they'll say anything for it, but I'll check to be sure. Yep, he's gonna say the same. Thanks, the bundle line. No, I don't want that. Not the blue coin. <laughs> okay, so we'll get those blue coins eventually. Just not now. Not now. So so far, I'm I'm not really finding any coins. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there really are not many coins around here. But these are enemies, and we can hit them around. And I think if we jump on them, what do you know? It gets us a coin. It's pretty good. Um, will that do anything? Oh wow, if I light them all up, that gives me even more coins, cool. So definitely do that, like little things like that we'll have to investigate for sure. Okay, so first off, let's get rid of these guys first. It's gonna be a bit slow going. But I mean, technically we're up to 16 coins, so we're getting there eventually. So you might see these kind of Mario symbols. I'm pretty sure these just give us blue coins, which once again, we do not want right now. Hello. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I just wanna engage in conversation. I'm always after those kids to tell them, tell me where they're going. But you know, they never do. Children are such little hoodlums. Some things just never change. Hey, no, don't throw me! That's so rude, what did I do to you? Oh wow, the blue coin eventually disappears. I'm sorry, mister. I really am, please don't tell my mother, okay? You're fine. I mean, it looks like you're already in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. Oh, it's just you. Okay, so, yeah, I suppose that guy's getting down. Wonder what he's thinking about. Maybe he's got a good song in his head. Hello. I don't even feel safe in the middle of town anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being alone. He doesn't feel safe, but he's still dancing like crazy. I mean, some people just, they need to get it out. They gotta get the dancing in. Okay, so there's one coin. And then there's another right there. Okay, let's, oh wow. Whoa, so splattering them against the wall doesn't give me very much time to get them, but that gave me extra coins. It's a little too late for these guys, but that's really good to keep in mind. Um, There's another one over here. So let's try that again. Splat, get three coins. Good to know. So that's where I get worried. There are not a lot of levels with coins in this game, with a lot of coins. So you really have to pick and choose which one you wanna do for your 100 coins. And that does make me worried, what if, because I did it that way, I've totally missed out on my chance to even get 100 coins, I'm not really sure. Oh no, <laughs> well that's not what I wanted. You know what, it might be a good chance then to grab this just so I can refill. And then we'll jump over this way. But enemies are definitely a huge key for us when it comes to getting coins, so if we see any enemies or more of those little flower circles, I wanna get those. What about this bell? Does this do anything? Not really. I didn't I, I didn't know that was a thing though, so that's neat. Never thought about trying it. Cause there were a lot of red coins around here, but normal coins, not so much. At least not in this mission, there wasn't red coins, but there was in the one mission that had this area have red coins, what do you know? Okay, so yeah, I think we're good just to dive over this way. I might take some damage from that. I guess I didn't, huh. Okay, so same thing as before. We need to splat you against the wall for some extra free coins. Gotcha. Oh, oh wait, 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 don't want to disappear. <laughs> and then this one over here, ready? So we're up to 35 already, so I think that we're, we're, we're at a pretty good pace. We'll keep it going and hopefully we'll just be able to make this happen. All right, spin. Gotta spin the analog stick and get that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the 44. What about these guys? See, they get a little spooked if you get too close. What if I hit them from here? See, that knocks them out. So you can't really hit these guys against the wall, but we still get a coin for defeating them. So certainly worth my time. 
and there's plenty more of those things around. So will you be an enemy? Yes, you will. Will that work if I spot you against here? There you go. I just gotta be quick with it is the problem. What about you? Here's another, we're about to hit halfway. Oh, there's some bees over here? I'd never really noticed that. Okay, there's, hey, wait, my coin went in the wall. That's not fair. Oh, we get an extra life for hitting, ow, 50. So what happens if I, does this do anything? It's shaking like crazy, but it didn't seem like it accomplished much. Can I pick up these, th this fruit? I can, but once again, what does that do? Huh. Maybe these villagers will tell me? Maybe Piantas? I could actually communicate. What, again? You seek your like this, don't you? Ah! Oh, he's gonna throw me. Ah! Okay, okay. Um, No, no, no! That's not what I wanted. Darn, okay, this area is tricky. What about you, will you throw me? Hold on. This may be a bit sudden, but listen and listen good. Let's say you find yourself hanging from a rope. Shoot just a little water and you'll start to swing, right? Well, if you have good timing and you do that several times, you'll start spinning around the rope. I swear it's true. Then, if you let loose a full stream of water, you'll gain crazy momentum which you can use to jump. Yeah, that's what I like to call the super whirl jump. You can go amazingly far with it, truly, it's incredible. Don't ask me why I know this, I don't really know myself. Okay, pretty cool. So we'll definitely have to keep that in mind. I guess in the meantime, since I'm having a hard time getting up there, I could do more of this. So splash these guys against the wall and get six extra coins this time because of it. Pretty good, pretty good. So let's spin again. Oh no, that was not quite enough. Got it. Looking good. What about this one? Oh wow, this is the full pokey this time. Ow, rude. And that'll just be one more coin. I was hoping for a little bit more, but fine. Let's get up here for now, because we haven't even gotten started on the red coin, so maybe I shouldn't overthink it too much, you know? I'm waiting for you to attack me, there you go. And that's another. So it really is a slow going situation. No, wait, okay, I don't want that. Oh my goodness. But I don't know if this one works like it does in Mario 64. Does this give me two coins or one coin? It doesn't give me any. It doesn't contribute to my coin count whatsoever. Wow, okay, that does make things a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? You okay, gotta be careful, the wind monster. I wonder if there's a way to defeat them. I, I don't think so. But I can't believe it doesn't count at all. Not even a single coin. But that's fine, there are plenty of other ways to get coins around here, right? It's not gonna be easy by any stretch of the imagination, but wait, can I go back down? grab that one. And there's a lot down by the water. I'm sort of going for the more difficult ones first. Okay. I don't think I can get you. Yeah, that didn't quite work. Oh no! I needed to refill my water anyways. I'm just gonna take it as a good thing. Keep moving. So over here. Does that make me swim faster? I think it does. Neat. Should be able to grab these. Oh no, they're coming to get me. I don't like it. And I think we'll need the one nozzle to actually get some of those under the fence over there. Oh, I missed him. Yeah, let's just swim over this way real quick. We're definitely swimming faster by doing that. Can I just swim past them? That doesn't count. You'd think it would. Just make it slightly more convenient, but no. So 21 coins left to find. I think we could do it. I think I'll just try for some of the ones up here now. Now that you're gonna fling step on me, which I do not appreciate, but if I do that and then get over there and then bounce off of you, that'll be one extra coin for us, which getting one coin at a time doesn't feel like much, but as you can see in this game, it really does make a huge difference. Gotcha. Got it. There's another one right here. And then another one on that palm tree. They're just so sparse. It's crazy how few there really are. 
Oh no, I guess I'm too close. Oh, come on. That was my last one too. Okay, I think I can get up from here. These are still chasing me though. They are determined to get me. I think from maybe this tree. Can I hit this little guy? He's just singing and dancing. But yeah, if I were to do this again, I'd be sure to hit the one little pokey guys that we found. Oh, you're kidding. Um, On that side of the, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I can find some more just on these trees. So I'll definitely try to do that. But make sure to splat them against the wall because instead of getting one coin, you get three. And that'll make a huge difference. Okay, so I got that one. So let's try out these other palm trees. Yeah, we can get some coins out of these. There you go, so that's 87. Back over to this one then. That one didn't get me anything. That's where you have to be very experimental and explorative to try to find them all. Because some of them are gonna be real sneaky. But not all of them are gonna have that, unfortunately. It looks like it's gonna be all for that cluster, but there are two more trees to try out there that I will in a moment once I get a couple more coins. Okay, so, try again. That didn't work. Okay, maybe I'll come back to it, because there's still other coins that can get some other spots. Like, all of those still are good options. And under this bridge, too, so I think we'll definitely be able to find 12 more coins. I wonder, can I jump on this tight rope? Oh, I can. It does make it a little bit easier, at least to get these. We're up to 91, can you believe it? We're slowly getting there. I and mean, if I bounce off it like that, I think that makes it a little bit easier to at least get here. I got it, I got it. 94 now. Come on, 97. Just a couple more. 99. Where can I find one more coin? Right here maybe? Oh gosh, here comes another pokey. If this gives me a blue coin. Oh, that gave me three coins. There we go, we did it! On the very top of this thing, and the shine flies way back over here. Oh my goodness. That was quite a lot of work, wasn't it? We even got some coins to spare. Couldn't quick grab that one. It's fine, so I know exactly where we're going. You can see it in the distance. But man, how crazy was today's episode? The first episode of the series, we had so much work cut out for us. So I'm going to try to triple jump. To get across. I think we just need to get up to this one. We got it, we got it. Boom. So there we go. Every single shine in Bianco Hills has been collected. All 12 of them or 11 of them? So we had the eight normal ones, the two bonus ones, and then the extra 100 coin. Pretty crazy, right? So next episode, we'll actually be going over here to the docks of Delfino Plaza to figure out what's next. But definitely not anything I'm gonna be worrying about for right now. It has been a whole host of work to get to this point in today's episode. Maybe we'll talk to some toads, see what's going on. Mario, are you used to using that flood thing now? You can also switch it to a hover device with the X button. Yep, we know all about it. Everyone on this aisle loves to do the box breaker. Just jump and press the ZL button above a box. Cause smash, why don't you give it a try? All right, awesome stuff. So there was our introduction to the sunny fun of Super Mario Sunshine. I had a blast in today's episode, no matter how difficult it may have been, I had a good time playing through it. And we will have plenty more great times leading up to the upcoming episodes as we collect all the shines and we save Isle Delfino. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Sunshine on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.